Now let's go over the typical breakfast of many Nigerian families. This is like a real life scenario, talking from experience. When I get to interview or talk with many of my clients, they tell me this. So, what do you eat for breakfast on Mondays? Response, tea and bread. Alright? How about Tuesdays? What do you eat for breakfast? We eat tea and bread. Then on Wednesdays, what do you eat for breakfast? They should be sure we still take tea and bread, you know, because the kids are going to school and I don't want them to go late to school. Alright. And on Thursdays, what do you eat for breakfast at home? We still eat tea and bread. I just buy like three or four loaves of bread that will be enough for the week. So that means that even on Fridays, we take tea and bread. Yes, that's shop shop. It's tea and bread Mondays to Fridays. Okay. On Saturdays, kids don't go to school. What do you eat for breakfast? Oh, I get to cook noodles and eggs, just that I add a lot of vegetables to the noodles. From Monday to Saturday, refined food. What about on Sundays? What do you eat for breakfast? We take tea and bread so we don't go eat to church. Is that you? Is this your eating pattern? Refined food from Mondays to Sundays. Bread, tea, noodles, sometimes even pasta. Now that is not good for you, I tell you. Health organizations Dietitians all believe that the overconsumption of refined foods can lead to diet related diseases. It can increase one's risk of having diet related diseases, especially for those who already have family history of these diet related diseases like diabetes, some forms of cancer, heart conditions, obesity. It has become a problem. In fact, I think it's now a pandemic. Yes, you see, children very young kids they are now obese they are struggling to work i have so many clients children what is the problem refined foods it's all about refined foods so we do like to know about other breakfasts that you can eat in the morning i know it takes about three to five minutes to get your tea and bread ready but there are other healthy foods that you can prepare in three to five minutes so i welcome you to diet talk with dietitian michelle i am a food expert in this program a diet program i will be teaching you about healthy foods healthy recipes that you can add to your diet plan so that you can eat healthy today i will be talking about finger millets have you heard about finger millets i'll tell you more about it after this short break my memories of my mother always include her destoning and washing archer and her teaching me how to do it right. Now, I do not have to go through the hustle of destoning and washing just because of CNC Smart Food Archer grains on floor, making cooking easy and enjoyable as I prepare my varied Archer daily cases and meals. To get more information on the product, visit our website www.cncsmartfood.com and to also get a free CNC Smart Food brochure containing all our healthy and nutritious food. You can order for this product from various supermarkets. Details are on the website. If you would like to be a distributor, please do well to fill in the distributorship form on the website. Feel free to call or send a message to 070-89-873497 or 090-46-75-8079 and be sure to be well attended to. So, this is Diet Talk with Dietitian Michelle, your food expert. I will be teaching you healthy recipes, healthy foods that you can add to your meal plan. This is finger millet. Have you seen it before? Have you heard about finger millet? Another name for this grain is tamba. Indians call it ragi, R-A-G-I, ragi, and it is their own staple. They bake their breads, they do virtually everything that we do with refined flour with finger millet because it is very nutritious. Now, this is finger millet. It's also in the same family with this. I know many of you know this. This is the millet, pearl millet to be precise. That is what it's called, pearl millet. In the north, it's called Doro 
Ogeru. So they are all in the same family. Another grain in the same family as millet is this, guinea corn, also called sorghum, dawa in the north. But this is different. Sometimes people confuse this with this and they say, oh, it's not that grain that is reddish in color. You can see the difference now. This is very tiny, dark, dark red. And this is somehow pinkish if you ask me. So this is guinea corn, sorghum, dawa, and this is finger millet. Another name for it is what tamba, and that is what we'll be talking about today. So before I tell you how to prepare finger millet, let me tell you why. Let me give you five reasons why you should add this to your diet. Reason number one is that this finger millet is rich in fiber very rich in fiber so if you struggle with constipation if you're always constipated because of refined foods then this should be your go-to food because it's going to help you move your bowels freely and easily it's rich in fiber very nice and the good thing about this finger millet is that you grind it into flour this is what it will look like and because it is very tiny you don't even need to sieve everything works smoothly and when you make your pap it sets that is one good thing about it so it's rich in fiber yet you still enjoy your pap very smooth another reason why i encourage you to try this is because it has a low glycemic index if you know that Shamisha, you know that I like to promote foods that have low glycemic index or just the medium, not high glycemic index. Especially for our friends who are living with diabetes, this should be your go-to pack of food. It should replace your refined custard. It should even replace smooth pap. I don't have anything against those smooth pap, but for babies, it's fine. For very young children, it's okay. As adults, please take this one. It's high in fiber. It has a low glycemic index. There are diabetics who have taken smooth pap, maize, guinea corn, millet, and they ended up in the hospital. The sugar content was too high for them. So even though they are natural foods, they are not rich in fiber. Remember, we've sieved out the fiber and discarded. We've given it to the gold. So it's smooth and it's not good. So if you want to enjoy pap that has um, a high fiber content, you want to enjoy pap that has a low glycemic index and you don't want your sugar level to go up, then I advise you to go for finger millets. Now, another reason I like you to enjoy this food is because it is rich in methionine. It is an amino acid that is good for the skin, glowing skin. Don't just invest in rubbing cream. Find out what are those foods that are good for the skin. This is good, methionine. You can check that. Very good food for healthy skin, for glowy skin. So I like you to try finger millets. Another reason, the fourth reason why I like you to try finger millets is because it is also rich in this amino acid, tryptophan. Do you know what that would do for you? Sleep, relaxation. When you take this, it helps you to sleep well. I had a client who said, Dasha Michelle, I can't take finger millets in the mornings. And I asked why. She said, because I sleep a lot. When I take it, I just start sleeping. And I forget that I have a lot of work to do. So I just take it in the evenings when I know that I am going to sleep. Yes, sometimes the medicine we are looking for is inside our food. Now, the fifth reason why I encourage you to try finger millet, and this means a lot to me, this fifth reason means so much to me. Why? Because as a dietitian, I have always known that calcium will be obtained from foods like milk, like yogurt, cheese. What about for those who can't afford these? What about for people who are lactose intolerant, who can't tolerate this? How else can they obtain their calcium? I've got good news for you. Finger millet is a rich source of calcium. It's a go-to meal. No wonder it is also called a wonder grain. Do you object? I don't, honestly. One food, rich in fiber, low glycemic index, good for the skin, helps you to sleep, and is now rich in calcium for strong bones. Look, I really support that name, Wonder Green. That is finger millet. Now, when you make, when you grind finger millet into powder, this is what it's going to look like. Can you see? This is the powder form of finger millet. And when you make it as pap, this is what it looks like. My kids call it chocolatey pap. 
this is what finger millet looks like and another name for finger millet is what tamba the indians call it ragi i will teach you how you can make your finger millet pap after this break the intensity of our concentration cannot be overstated at citadel nutrition consult we are focused on one thing helping individuals achieve their health and nutrition goals which means you can be assured that you will benefit from our active approach to disease management. Whether you're an obese individual in need of weight management or a diabetic looking for healthy foods to eat, we don't stray from our vision and our mission of changing lives using diet as medicine. Your health has our complete and undivided attention. Feel free to call or send a message to 070-898-73497 or 090-4675-8079 and be sure to be well attended to. So, on how to make finger millets. As pap, it's very easy. Remember we are working with 3 to 5 minutes, you can achieve that if you want to eat healthy so three to five minutes yes very possible now this is half cup this is one serving this should be enough for one person especially if you're on a weight loss diet or you don't want to eat too much then this is half cup of finger millet you will need two cups of water to make this half cup of finger millet but that actually depends on the consistency you enjoy if you like something very thick if you like your pap very thick then you may use just one and a half cup of water and if you want it to be very watery that you can drink it then you can use three cups of water so but for what we use what we teach is half cup of finger millet flour two cups of water now this is what you do simple this is it then half cup of water just the way you make your regular pap custard that's how you make finger millets you can check the time you can see how long it takes so can you see that's all i told you this is not refined pap it's not sieved this is whole flour this is whole food, I mean to say, because the fiber, the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals, everything is intact. It was not soaked, it was not sieved, no chaff removed, everything intact. But can you see how smooth it is? Now that is all. This is the first and very important stage. Ensure that it's this thick or even thicker. Now next is just to pour your hot water and that's all. If this bowl is too big, you can use cup. I like to use stainless steel cup for my pap. So you see, you just stir gently. At some point, you stop stirring. Yeah, so this is what you get. Just add your hot water and you have your finger millet, chocolatey pap. This is what it's going to look like. But let me say something. Just in case you're making it and it does not set, it does not get thick, no problem. It's nothing to worry about. All you need to do is to put it on fire, stir for like one to two minutes and it's going to become thick. You can now serve it as pap. Let me now show you various ways that you can enjoy this finger millet pap. There are many things you can add to it. Yes, if you are not uh, managing your sugar level, then you can use sugar. How much sugar would you like to add to this? One spoon or two that depends on you for children you can use one or two teaspoons for adults you can use honey if you prefer and for those who have diabetes those who are managing their sugar level i usually recommend sugar substitutes it's sweet it's a sweetener but it has no calorie it has no sugar sugar substitute for those living with diabetes for children you can add your sugar so this is just one spoon of sugar inside then your milk this is liquid milk but let me stir this so that it can still look fine yes yeah, so this is this is the finger millet then you have your milk see if you like fruits in your pap this is the right time to add that you see depending on the quantity of fruit you would like to have. This is 
strawberry you can add banana and if you like nuts you can also add nuts to it and you have a healthy breakfast now if you're lactose intolerant and you don't like milk what other options can you use I have here I have something it's just beverage chocolate beverage okay you can also use this especially for those who don't like milk all you need to do is to stir now don't mind me this is going to be what we call concussion i just want you to get the concept the idea now if you don't want to use a chocolate beef rate, this is protein powder it's also a product from our company cnc smart foods the combination of soybean and granite you can equally enjoy your finger millet with this i am not asking you to take all of this i'm just demonstrating please so you can use this protein powder if you don't like milk again if you don't want to use protein powder what else can you use you can use yogurt this is yogurt flavored yogurt vanilla flavored yogurt you can use it to enjoy your tamba another thing you can use is tiger nut milk and remember the finger millet is rich in calcium so if your concern is that you cannot get calcium from the milk no problem the calcium in the in the finger millet will be good enough all you need to do is to take just one third or even one quarter cup of this tiger nut milk and enjoy your finger millets so tell me which one would you like to try finger millet with yogurt finger millet with milk finger millet with a chocolate beverage finger millet with tiger nut milk i really like to know talk to me in the comment section i hope you like this video remember to subscribe like comment and share with your loved ones let's stop eating too many refined foods okay so i'm tasting the part with the chocolate beverage hmm. i like this my kids like it now the one with the protein powder hmm. nice it has a nutty flavor and now the parts with the milk hmm. it's so nice very nice yeah which one is my favorite can you tell <laughs> let me know yours <laughs> the intensity of our concentration cannot be overstated at citadel nutrition consult we are focused on one thing, helping individuals achieve their health and nutrition goals, which means you can be assured that you will benefit from our active approach to disease management. Whether you're an obese individual in need of weight management or a diabetic looking for healthy foods to eat, we don't stray from our vision and our mission of changing lives using diets as medicine. Your health has our complete and undivided attention. Feel free to call or send a message to 070-898-73497 or 090-4675-8079 and be sure to be well attended to. Now, how can I help you as a dietitian? First, you can order my book healing recipe yes i have so many recipes in this book now this is not copy and paste this is not compilation of things we found on the internet no we worked on every single recipe you find in this book we are intentional about it the quantity of water the serving portions the seasoning cubes the salt everything we are intentional about it so i'd like you to get a copy of this you can get the soft copy from the website www.dietishamichelle.com you're going to find it in the description section the link to order this recipe ebook you're going to find the fruity acha pudding and many other nutritious recipes for the prevention and treatment of diet related diseases you you can also get the hard copy but should you just order the hard copy i would advise you to get that with the archer grains that we demonstrated today now this is archer grain this is cnc smart food archer grain the company where dietitians work we have cnc smart foods 
acha grain this is acha this is what it looks like this is the 900 gram acha and this would give you about 12 servings and even up to 18 servings depending on your stomach capacity so we have it packed in 900 gram you can also get acha grains in 5 kg and even in 10 kg especially if you want to use it for as for therapeutic diets in hospitals or in your catering institutes you want to cook healthy foods for people you can buy the 5 kg or the 10 kg even the 900 gram is a good way to start you can order for these on our website www.cncsmartfood.com again the link to order these nutritious foods will be in the description section then finally on how i can help you as a dietitian I have a course on heart health, an online course on my website where you're going to learn everything you need to know concerning the diet in the prevention and management of heart conditions. That course is 50,000 Naira, but if you're watching this program now, you can get it at a discounted rate. Use heart. 2024 as a coupon code and you're going to be getting a 50% discount from 50,000 naira it comes down to 25,000 everything you need to know and not just the course teachings on heart healthy diet that course also comes with what free diet plan on how you should eat for the prevention and management of heart conditions so it comes with a free diet plan it comes with guidelines it also comes with bonus videos on how to cook a chart you should grab yours now then if you want a customized diet plan with dietitians you want a customized plan you don't want a generic plan you want something that will suit your lifestyle you want something that will suit your preference you want something that you like you want us to plan the diet around the kinds of foods you like to eat then that will be customized plan and we will also be glad to help you all you have to do is to send book the dietitian just send book dietitian michelle as text message or WhatsApp to 0904-675-8079 and your session will be booked. The dietitians will consult and we will plan your diet, send it to you, you follow and give us your feedback. All right? So thank you for watching Diet Talk with Dietitian Michelle. I am a food expert. I'll see you in the next episode of Diet Talk with Dietitian Michelle. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.